pandemic management is under enormous time constraints. So uh, there's, there's a lot to deal with. There's a lot to deal with in terms of student problems, student visas, problems with the building. If there's any construction issues, it seems to go through academic management as well. So, um, um, so we have a lot of those issues uh, in relation to, to time constraints. And so as you can imagine, teacher development and CBD isn't high up on the list during, in the day-to-day -day running of a school. Um, there's so much going on every day in the school. So um, a lot of the teacher development program, teaching, what did Chris say again? He called it teacher development events. <laughs> I think he called it. Anyway, uh, are very much top down events because it's very easy, it's much easier for academic management to control and to, it's easier to manage. It's less time consuming as well. So a lot of those events would be like workshops. So a lot of the, you, you've got, for example, uh, observations, you've got an appraisal process, you've got, um, you've got, what you call it again, the, um, let me see, sorry, I've got my notes, um, yeah, you've got, for example, uh, the criteria from, let's say, uh, accreditation bodies to, and all of those things that, um, that really inform sort of workshops, and you've also got, for example, the, the uh, academic managers have their own teaching experience as well. And that kind of sometimes informs the way what they think is best practice too. And you've got institutional constraints. You've got certain the institution, the the, the, the language school, which um, believes that this is particular, this is best practice for, for teachers, and we must follow that as well. So um, there's a lot of that going on. And then we have the teachers. We have a, a kind of a, quite a large cohort, uh, 50 usually. Teachers, so it's quite a lot with different levels of experience, different levels of um, uh, uh, interest, different interests, and also different levels of enthusiasm. So you've got teachers who have had ten years, ten years experience, some with five years experience, some with, and a lot of them. We have half of our teaching cohort are, are Delta qualified, and quite a number of them have just come out of the uh, CELTA, uh, the CELTA course, maybe have one or two years experience as well. And a lot of those are at different levels of, uh, I suppose, experience or different levels in their in their own teaching. But a lot of them, for example, the the, the younger, the the less experienced ones, are trying to find their own voice as well. Some of the older staff, some of them may feel they've stagnated or may feel that they haven't really, you know, they they are they're they're stuck in a particular um, mode of teaching as well. Um, and some of them are quite happy. We're quite content. So, um, but what what does a school like? What's the school's responsibility for uh, to to a teacher? And the bottom line is, I suppose, the bottom line is the bottom line. A lot of the the, the, the school needs to to keep students happy, and they need to, to sell a product as well. And you're you're always in negotiating in negotiation with with management about how how we can kind of develop teacher development, how we can develop CPD. Um, and in our school, like CES, in fairness to CES, they have set up a CPD department. They've, they've given a role to one particular staff member as head of, of teacher development as well. And so we do have a CPD department in our school. So the, the, it shows the commitment that the school has to uh, teacher development. But you're still negotiating with, the, uh, with management about what kind of things you can do uh, you've also got time constraints, you've also got, for example, uh, budgetary constraints too. Um, so with that in mind, Chris, um, who is the head of teacher development, he's kind of created a, a kind of little program here. I think I should start using this. I make it easier for myself. Um, what, does C, what does TD look like in, in CES? So we've got a like, biannual teacher development plan. And this is based on feedback from teachers. It's based on uh, student feedback. It's also based on observations, um, and we've got four of them here. Now, two of them are top-down, and two of them are bottom-up. So, workshops. Now, it's easier, it's, it's quite easy to, to kind of manage workshops in, in terms of academic management. You can get in an expert. The, if there's any problems arising from, the, um, from uh, let's say, observations and so on, um, the workshops can, can help in that sense. So let's say after a particular um, period of observations, 
the uh, academic manager would say, well, we need to do a workshop on particular issues like arising from pronunciation, from, uh, let's say, from learner, learner um, sorry, le learning goals and so on. Um, and then we have action research groups, which is, this is more bottom-up uh, approach. Um, and in this case here, the action research groups are, um, these, these are over a set period of time. Uh, let's say for, for about two months, we have action research groups, and they have specific questions um, for the group. So they, they set data collection and analysis methods, and then they present their findings at the end. So they have a group of, let's say, five or six in the action re research group. And they, it needs to be, I suppose, um, a negotiation between academic management and also the teachers. It's not, it, doesn't have, it can't be just what the teachers are um, interested in or what their pro problems are. It also has to be the need, fulfill the needs of the institution as well. So there's a negotiation that goes on there between, so that makes it interesting for the teachers, but it's also valuable as a, from an institutional perspective as well. And then we have professional de development groups. And these, these are kind of more support groups. Um, these are, they discuss and investigate concerns that teachers are having within the school, and they promote kind of peer collaboration and harmony within the staff room, and helping staff room culture, and helping teachers support each other as well. Now, we've only really started the professional development groups over the last couple of months, so it's still in its infancy. And um, they meet every Monday and Friday, and they have a group, they have a room where they meet and they discuss they have one uh, senior teacher who, who kind of runs the, um, the sessions and, uh, and t they, they talk about what, what issues that have arisen during that week as well. And then we have the mentoring sessions. Now, this is more of a, a bottom, or sorry, a top-down approach where it's more for the inexperienced teachers as well, where uh, we, we use this a lot during the summer when we have new teachers during the summer. And we, we, we have uh, senior teachers who are, who are looking after the... the the, the younger, kind of more inexperienced teachers and telling them about resources or about, you know, the institution, what's expected of them as well. Um, that's because academic management is so busy that we need to have a, a kind of a C, CPD department as well. So, we also have these, which I don't really want, I want to discuss because we, we discuss these quite a lot today, observation and appraisal process, uh, support for further education and support for external involvement in TD opportunities. So that's all part of the uh, the process. Now we do have um, a, a six, it's a six monthly uh, plan and it has to be very visible. Um, and it kind of looks like this here. And the key principles are that it's teacher based, that it's decentralizing as well, that uh, it's teacher autonomous, and it's guidance and directing, but not lecturing and info dumping, as we say. Um, and it's practical as well, and also that's tailored for the teachers too. Um, that, that's just uh, my summary of that. Sorry, um, that's the rationale. So we have a plan like from January to June, so it's six monthly, and um, the development. And this is what it looks like. And we have these on the notice board and the uh, teacher development uh, notice board as well. So this is an example of the teacher development priorities for that particular period of time. So it's very visible. To, to everyone, for everyone to see as well. Um, so you've got an implementation of a new curriculum framework document, which is an institutional need as well. You've got to focus on integrating pronunciation, which has come from observations, from issues arising from observations as well, or from teacher needs too. Uh, focus on improving the quality of assessment in the classroom, and this has been an issue that's been ongoing as well. What does success look like? You know, what about learner outcomes and so on? And this comes from not just the, the management, but it also comes from teachers as well. Some teachers saying, well, they don't know why, like if, if they're doing, if their teaching has, has had an impact as well, and how can we improve on that as well? Um, and a review of the ways to integrate technology into classrooms. So these are all issues that have, have arisen from observations, from student feedback, from teacher feedback as well. And then we have the, the, the workshops too, which are more kind of top-down approach. And these again are, are based on institutional needs, but also kind of uh, things that the teachers, we feel that the teachers need to work on. Um, but we don't want to alienate the teachers as well and say like, this is what you have to, you know, you have to, to go through this process. Um, we all, there's a constant dialogue going on with the, the teaching uh, staff about their own needs as well. So, um, and that's what it looks like. So TD events are a series of workshops 
sure, workshops, so approximately nine every six months. Action research groups, so they're small groups, three month periods, and a set focus. You've got video observations, inclusivity, you've got homework, and this ends with a knowledge share. So at the end, okay, thank you. <laughs> at the end of it, um, the, uh, the, the groups present their findings to everyone else in the, in the, in the school, well, other staff members as well, okay? And then you've got professional development groups, and these are six to eight teachers. They have their own professional development room, and it's every Friday and Monday afternoon, and the group leader sets a discussion or research topic, and this sits for two months, and we discuss several focuses uh, and present our findings. So, um, and this is to better inform kind of in-service training and also for, for action research as well. And then we have uh, the mentoring. And this is during, mainly during the summer when it gets really, really busy in the school. And um, um, if we get a, a group of new teachers coming in as well. So um, that's uh, CPD in, um, in, in CES. Now, the, the main issues there, I think, arise from, we're trying to make it evidence-based as well. Like a lot of, it's, it's very difficult though with action research uh, to try and make it evidence-based. As, as Maureen was saying, was how do you how do you involve the learners? Because the learners are the most important, and that, that's the issue we have is that it should be teacher like professional development should be teacher focused, but it shouldn't lose sight of what the students' needs are as well. And that's something that we're still working on is trying to make these action research groups more evidence-based and saying, well, what is the impact my teaching is having on my students as well? But it's great for teachers to experiment. Um, it really is, it's, um, it ha I think it's, it's, you've got a, a, a great opportunity for teachers to, to look at their own teaching from their own point of view and not, not have to always listen to the, the so-called the experts or to listen to people um, a, a, with a lot of information and that, that can undermine their confidence as well. It's kind of, I think it's very important that teachers kind of find their own voice through experimentation, through uh, research uh, as well. And we are there, uh, part of the CPD uh, department, to help them.